Your cat has herpes. Oh my gosh, what is this? Can you get this? You're freaking out. You landed on this video. Doc, tell me what I need to know about this and what I have to do. All right, guys, I'm Dr. Lindsay Butzer, a small animal veterinarian, and I see so many feline herpes virus cases every week. So I made this video to explain to you what it is and how you're gonna treat it if your cat is having a flare up. This is not contagious to humans. That's the first thing my cat owners ask me. So you won't get this from your cat, but I want you to know how to treat this and how to deal with it since you've probably just got a diagnosis of feline herpes virus in your cat. But before we get started, I'm gonna introduce Charles, this super cute silver tabby cat. He is beautiful and he's gonna help us explain her herpes virus. <laughs> and I wanna show you guys my bird earrings that I caught at Disney World. So how cute are these? Like adorable bird earrings that I'm wearing to make this video because it's about cats, right? All right, let's get into this. Ooh. So don't freak out. 98% of cats and even wild cats have feline herpes virus type one also known as feline viral rhinotracheitis. Feline herpes virus causes upper respiratory infections such as sneezing and lung inflammation and is also the most common cause for conjunctivitis in cats and kittens. That means it causes eye inflammation of the tissues surrounding the eye, especially the lining of the eyelids and the third eyelid. Stress is the number one cause for causing a flare up in cats or kittens such as excitement from a new home or construction workers in the house to a new person in the house. All right, they might not like your girlfriend and get a herpes flare up just because of it. Prognosis for cats with feline herpes virus is good, meaning they normally don't die if they're treated by a veterinarian and their infections don't get bad. So the worst thing that could probably happen is they'll get a severe upper respiratory tract infection, have wheezing or develop pneumonia. This is if it's left untreated. And for kittens untreated, they get eye infections that it can actually eat their eye, coupled with a bacterial infection. And a lot of those cats have one eye. So you might even see cats circulating the internet with one eye or kittens with one eye. And that's most likely from herpes virus. So basically your cats with feline herpes will still have their nine lives and they can live to 20 years old. And an interesting fact is that feline herpes virus likes to attack the left eye in particular. So vet students out there or new veterinarians, you might notice that those kittens and cats come in and it's the left eye that's affected. Check it out next time you're looking at a cat with a watery eye. So what is in my toolbox to treat feline herpes virus type one. The first thing I love to give them is antibiotic eye drops such as tobramycin or antiviral eye drops such as idoxyrubidine. That one's hard to say. Another thing we give them is antiviral pills which they also give humans. It's actually the same pill called famcyclovir. So we give that to our little kitties and that shortens the duration of the virus flare up. Other things I like to use for cats is things to lower their stress. So medications like gabapentin, um, which is a liquid to lower their stress, or there's other feline calming agents like collars or pheromone diffusers that you can plug into the wall because stress is the number one thing that brings on these flare ups for these cats. So those are the main treatments for herpes virus in cats and they get better with it. One other thing I love to use is lysine. This is an antiviral supplement that you can get over the counter, which helps shorten the duration of a flare up in your cats. You can also use lysine on a regular basis, which they make it in treats or a gel that helps them from getting flare ups. But if they have a green discharge or sneezing a lot, you're gonna wanna go to your vet to get something stronger. So here's a case I recently had of one week old kittens that came in that had crust and pus coming from their eyelids. Their eyes weren't even open yet and herpes virus was already attacking their eyes. So 
So I had to administer antibiotic eye drops and some antiviral eye drops on top of their eyes, kind of massage it and wipe it. And within a few days, their eyes were already better. So that is a scenario where herpes virus can affect baby kittens' eyes that are just out in the environment, in the bushes or something like that, and people find them and bring them in, and we see symptoms like that, it's most likely herpes virus. Another case I got last week was a box of four kittens that were eight weeks old, and they had crusts around their eyes, um, discharge coming from their nose, and some clear watery discharge coming from their eyes, and they also had a fever and weren't eating as much according to the foster. So these kittens may have been stressed out from leaving their mom or traveling, and they definitely had a herpes virus flare up. So I gave them antibiotic eye drops, antiviral eye drops, oral antibiotics, and I also like to add on an injection of an anti-inflammatory medication called Medicam to get their fevers down. And within three days, those kittens were doing great. For older cats that get regular herpes virus flare-ups from construction or new people in the house, I like to give these owners antiviral pills to use when they notice their cat is getting a squinty eye, acting lethargic, and having a herpes virus flare-up. And this normally works within a week and the cats are feeling better. So how do cats get herpes virus and why does 98% of the cat population have it? And that's because it's easily spread through salivary secretions, sneezing, grooming each other. It can even be spread on sharing bowls or objects. So they can get this super easy. Mom cats spread it to kittens and basically it's everywhere. So almost all cats have this and you can't blame your breeder if your kitten has that winky squinting eye and your vet tells you they have herpes virus, it's not the breeder's fault, all cats have this. Your vet may also recommend an intranasal vaccine for feline rhinotracheitis virus, and this helps lessen their symptoms. So it doesn't prevent them from getting the virus, just helps them deal with it better if they're having flare-ups. All right, guys, so I hope you learned so much in this video. I'm vomiting information to you about feline herpes virus. If you've had experience with this with your kittens or your cats or cats you've fostered, please put it in the comments below. I'd love to read it. Hit the thumbs up and hit the bell to get notifications for when I post new videos. See you next time.